Hey guys, it's Hairstyles Tether. I wanted to show you like what would have been in my hospital bag. I know I didn't get time to do what was in my hospital bag and what was in baby's bag before camera came since she came so early, but I do have some extra tips now that I'll give you guys. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And since I had the seat emergency C section and I just want you to be prepared because I'd never <laughs> In the world had thought that I was gonna have a c-section after having two babies first one I had with the epidural the next one I had natural all natural and it was very easy and then this one was emergency c-section because she was turned um, she was breached and they tried to turn her and everything so if you want to see that video go see her um, labor and deliver video but still want to show y'all what would have been in my hospital bag now especially now that I have some more tips and everything um, the first thing I'll show you which is really awesome is, is this right here this is from Peanut Posh, so if you want to go check it out. They have these really super soft swaddle blankets. They're so, so soft and so big. And they come, or you can get, you don't have to get it matching, but um, they come matching. Um, it has also has a matching bow there. And we're doing our pictures soon. We're going to get pictures with that. And then my robe here also. And it matches. I think they were like 35 a piece, I'm pretty sure. So I definitely had those. And then as far as like little pajamas, like just these little shorts with the loose top, like that. It's really good to have. And then as far as all your nursing stuff, so I had um, nursing bras that I wore with my loose tank tops and i really these are really comfy just to like you just pull it over like that and then this one is more like a bra that snaps down this one is from target and this one is from old navy this one i'm pretty sure i got it at target as well but it does clip down but it's really like just stretchy and all also so and then of course a couple of t nursing tank tops that i just wore by themselves and no, didn't have to worry about a bra or a separate shirt. So I really like just wearing just the tank tops like this a lot. And stretchy pants. So as far as with the C-section, I needed some bigger pants. These are like really big, extra large panties. But that's really awesome to have my cousin. Thankfully my cousin saved the day and came and brought me like big panties like that and big stretchy pants that I could wear because I was like way more comfortable with all of this on. Um, just really stretchy pants and like these pull up like way like up over your belly also so they're not rubbing on your c-section or anything. Your um, your incision and everything. Or just like really stretchy leggings. I love that leggings are in because that's all I'm wearing right now. I'm not wearing any other kind of it. It's just leggings really soft and stretchy and thankfully I have lots of leggings. So I wore them all through the winter time before I was pregnant, then I wore them all while I was pregnant, and now I'm definitely wearing them now. I like the comfiest things ever. So that, uh, and then all your bathroom stuff as far as like makeup remover, wipes, and just like your toothpaste, your shampoos, like all your bathroom stuff. I don't feel like I really have to say all that. Of course, the lanolin cream for nursing. And they have some at the hospital though, if you do forget it. And then as far as pads, nursey pads and these pads, um, thankfully they have pads, the big pads there. So it started out with those, but then after a few days, you just need these, depending on how long you're there. Um, and then nursing pads, of course. And if, depending on how long you're there, you need the nursing pads or don't. So if your milk's not come in yet or not. Mine just took a couple of days, but since we're there with, the, with her for the NICU, I needed more things than I had brought. Oh yeah, I had only wore one hair bow. I had my hair braided to the side. I only had one hair bow. I lost the hair bow and I was like, no. And thankfully, Daddy had brought me, well, more stuff when I needed it. But definitely brings like just at least three hair bows or hair bows because more likely you're probably gonna lose the one that you have if you do have one at all. But just to put your hair up and out of the way is awesome. I think that's about it as far as what was in my hospital bag because they have stuff there like if you need things too like um the pads and the paintings and stuff like that yeah i think that was my necessities for my hospital bag and then for baby of course um a swaddle blanket i actually i swaddled kindling claire up like right away 
But with Camry, when she was in the NICU, she was just all like sprawled out and stuff. So she doesn't like to be swaddled like really tightly. She only likes to be swaddled like just a little bit. So when I swaddle her at night, and I'm already, I already try to do like a bedtime routine, which I'll talk about in her update video. I only swaddle her at night so that she knows it's nighttime and she's all cut up. And during the day, I just have like a blanket around her. Um, some onesies, some sleepers. And you don't need a ton of outfits, but I got Joel to bring more outfits since we were in the NICU. But if they're in the NICU, most of the time they don't wear clothes um, anyways because they're either under a jaundice light or whatever. I guess depending on different situations, it's different. But we were only there for about a week. She didn't wear clothes until the last couple of days. And then if you are if you have a regular um, delivery and everything's going great, baby, you're only there a few days anyways, and they only need a couple of clothes for that. Um, blankets. Oh yeah, for my hustle bag, I got Joel to bring me like three of my big soft blankets just to be really comfy and sleep really good. Um, and then ba obviously, baby, a good soft blanket. And the body pillow, of course. The body pillow helps with breastfeeding or if any kids, kiddos are coming to hold the baby. It just makes it easier to hold a baby like this or breastfeed with it. Um, and I think that's about it. I was trying to think if there was anything else that, like, house little bag or baby bag wise that I was, like, forgetting that I really needed. I always feel like I'm going to forget to say, tell you guys something. But thanks so much for watching. Check out my other videos right now and daily vlogs. And we'll see you guys soon.